The respected legal luminary told the workshop, cybercrime is a serious phenomenon and legislation has to do its best to keep up with cybercrime. Sir David says the draft Cybercrime Bill 2023 and a copy of the Bill to Amend the Mutual Assistance in Criminal Matters Act, Chapter 140A, will be given major attention throughout the workshop. Governments must therefore strengthen legislation and the capacity of relevant authorities to handle electronic evidence and to investigate, prosecute, and adjudicate cybercrime. But in addition, international cooperation is absolutely necessary and critical to succeeding in carrying out those functions that I just mentioned. The former Chief Justice and Attorney General says the countries of the region have taken steps to equip themselves with legislation to address cybercrime. The Budapest Convention on Cybercrime has served as a gold standard in respect of legislation for states wishing to adapt their national legislation. But of course the convention is also of inestimable, inestimable value as a catalyst for capacity building and institutional strengthening. Now the Council of Europe and the Law Reform Commission, which I chair, have developed a relationship since 2020 when we sought the assistance of the Council in preparing new cybercrime legislation for Barbados. Attorney General Dale Marshall says the journey for Barbados in the fight against cybercrime was started more than 20 years ago. He gave some background to the participants of the workshop. The increase in sophistication of the criminal element forced us to relook the legislative framework that we had in place and to see if it was adequate to deal with our current circumstances. And not just in the area of cybercrime, uh, in looking at our recent child justice and child protection legislation, we had to consider the impact of the technology on some very serious offences against minors. From this workshop, it is hoped that the new cybercrime bill will reach Cabinet by the end of this calendar year. Trevor Thorpe, CBC News.